Hey, hey everybody, welcome back. It's Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland.ie. It's good to have you. It is Thursday, the 4th of June 2020. So, let's get straight into it. Today, we're going to look at input boxes, how to create them, how to add some values to them, and how to validate, validate those values. Very, very simple uh, tutorial, easy to do. Put the, some of the concepts in it. Actually, hopefully you'll learn something from it and uh, be useful. It's a compliment to some of the other videos on our website and our YouTube channel. I'd like you to, if you're watching this, hit that subscribe button and um, keep in touch with us so you constantly have videos going up. So uh, please do that. Be much appreciated. So let's get into the code. That's what you're here for. We have a, we're in PyCharm here and essentially what we want to do is we're going to create a box um, using tkinter and we're essentially going to in that input box put some values validate the values and then pop some pop-up messages so let's just see there's your input box so we're going to create this box put the input values and uh, just check the values and then it'll give us a pop-up match. So I'll go back to that in a second, but that's our achievement. So we'll run down through this again very, very quickly. I've done this in some other videos as well. So if you've seen this before, you'll be familiar with it. So essentially, we've done our import statements. This line here is just the, the length and the width of the pop-up box. And then the title on the box, the window, should I say. That's basically what it is. Uh, again, in this video, uh, we've got a, def uh, a function, should I say. And the function, what it does is we'll pull the information from the input box. It will then validate the value and then depends based on the value, it will make it either give us this message or this message. Uh, one thing to note that the value that we're bringing from the input box if it's a number, it will validate, it would have to convert that to number so you can do the comparison. So if you don't do put this int in front of the X and have the X inside brackets, it will throw up an error. So essentially, yes, this uh, if statement is basically checking what does the input box give us? Is it greater than or equal to five? If it is, give us this message. If it's not, give us this message. We've wrapped this all inside a canvas and Essentially, Canvas is a handy thing um, to, if you're using tkinter to put all your widgets or any buttons or input boxes um, in there. Or if you're even, say, creating drawings, anything like that, put it inside the Canvas. It's very helpful for that, and that's what it's designed for, and it interacts very well with tkinter. So the next screen is just the creation of the Canvas. Uh, again, like I've said in previous videos, uh, to actually show or show or have the canvas on the, the box that appears, uh, you just have to use dot pack. Next line is to basically create an entry box. And the whole idea behind the entry box is obviously just put your value in. The value then is when the button's click is validated through the check if number function, and it gives us back up the pop up boxes. So this is just again some formatting on the canvas, um, basically the, the position of where it will appear on the screen. And then the last two things, well there's three but there's two main ones, are the button. And uh, it's the button that says validate, which when clicked and also tells it to, to run the, the function check if number and then give us a value. It gives a pop-up message should I say, depending on the value. And again, this uh, this is the canvas screen. Is just basically the formatting of the where the button will go, um, basically from the left and the right side. So probably the best thing to do is just run through this code actually, and see it working. Put in some values, check a couple of things, and then we'll go from there. So. First thing then, there's the box is described. So what we want to do is put one in there. So again, because one is going to be passed, when we click this button validate, it's going to be passed from this button and it's going to basically send this number up to this function, check if number, and then it's going to go into here to X. 
um, because this is entry box, which is this here, and it's basically the this piece of code basically says get the value of what's been in entry box and, and pass it to the variable x. And then the variable x is passed in here to the if statement, uh, converted to an integer, and compares against the five. Based on that, then we either have this pop up box or this pop up box. So, because this is less than five, um, I would expect this to come up. So this line here to come up, okay? This line here, all right? So let's let's just do that, okay? So correctly, you entered the value that's less than five. Perfect. So just click OK. Now if we do this, so because we put the greater than or equal to five, it gives up this message here, okay? So if we even say nine. Again, get the same message it's just doing the same validation on the input box here value and if we go down to zero again because zero is less than five it's given us this first message here so that's a quick introduction to input boxes in T Kinter how to create them how to do some validation through a function how to do a bit of formatting on where the canvas sits and where the input box lies and sits on the screen hope you've enjoyed it hope you've got some benefit out of it really appreciate on our youtube channel to do a follow subscribe and hit the bell button obviously so you'll get the alerts when we come in I'll be doing more in this series um, building on some of the previous videos we've done earlier on on our youtube channel so there's a lot in there and there's a lot we can bring over into tkinter which will show you the true power of it and how you can create applications to do some of your data analytics work. So that's it for the moment. Thanks for popping by. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.